Hello everyone, it's Jareth the RPG Lord, and welcome back to more Eternal Sonata. Last time we went to Arya Temple, we fought Rondo, defeated her, and we got Falsetto back. And in this episode, we're going to do some more things around Baroque, and then go up to the castle, alright? So right here, in this shop, uh, this guy has new products for us, so let's get them. Doom Guard, hmm, that's pretty good. Um, okay, um... You say baton. Oh, yeah, definitely. This, let's... Do I really want to buy things for Salsa and March? No, I don't think so. Definitely that for, um, Jazz, and... Uh, let's buy two of these. And... Two of these. And one of these, and two of these, okay. And I forgot to get th this, so I'll equip them. Okay, now we want to go into the hotel. And go to the left room, I believe. So let's go. I think, yeah, there is, I'm pretty sure that, that there is something in here for us. Um... No, this is not the right room. I believe it's this one, maybe? Occupied, uh... Okay, we want to talk to this little girl. I'm bored. Let's do some score pieces until Granny wakes up. Okay, so we want to uh, perform... A 1, 7, and 10. So let's do that. Ah, score pieces are fun. Yeah, they are. All right, now let's leave this hotel and go to the castle because Prince Crescendo wants to see us. All right. Gosh, that is so beautiful. Let's go. Huh? Polka, are you all right? Could it be the illness? Whatever the cause, we must explain the situation to Prince Crescendo and find a room where Polka can rest. Polka, you've got to hang on! Polka! How is she? She seems to be sleeping peacefully, for the time being, anyway. Poor Polka. The girl can use magic, can't she? Wow, that's really too bad. Hey, you! You're a magic researcher, right? Isn't there anything you can do for her? Allegretto, let's try to stay calm. I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Whatever it takes to help Polka. Please help us! Forgive me, but the realm of magic is still shrouded in mystery, even for me. However, if anything can help her, it may be the Legend of Light connected to Arya Temple, the place you recently explored. The Legend of Light? 
Hold on. That's the Astra legend, isn't it? So then, Astras do have something to do with Polka's illness. Wait a minute. Astras are somehow connected to magic? I've never heard about that. What are you talking about, Allegretto? It was when I went to Tenuto to go and bring back Polka. Something her mom said. She told me Polka has an Astra that shines brighter than most people's, and that's why she's destined for a tragic fate. I assumed she was just talking about the illness. But aren't Astras just make-believe things from children's stories? People can use magic either because of a disease or the mineral powder, right? That is the accepted explanation. However, the actual cause is not fully understood yet. For one thing, not everyone who becomes ill can use magic. We also don't know if the power is drawn out by mineral powder, and the magical abilities of those suffering from terminal illness are truly identical. Are you saying there could be some other cause? I am, and all my research has given me the strong suspicion that Astra's may very well be that cause. Well, it is true that Polka's Astra does seem to give off a most extraordinary glow. Yeah, that's right! I saw the Agogos around her light up with my own two eyes. Agogos? Are you saying that Agogos are connected to Astra's? There's an old legend passed down among the guardians of Agogo Forest. It says that the Agogos will gather together in the glow of a powerful Astra and reflect its light back with a dazzling brilliance. The secret behind the glowing Agogos is Astra's? And Count Waltz must be searching for glowing Agogos because he knows they'll increase the effect of the mineral powder. This explains everything. Okay, so if magic powers and astras are related, then what do we need to do to help Polka? Well, I, I don't... Uh... All your theories are completely useless! What we need now is a way to save Polka! Riddle? I've got it! Uh, Salsa? The Agogos! Her astra's glowing too bright, so let's just have the Agogos absorb it! I don't know if that will work. Agogos can reflect the light of Astra's, but that's not quite the same as absorbing it. This is the perfect time to ask the Agogo Queen Mother for help! The Agogo Queen Mother? Of course, that's it! Salsa, you're absolutely right! What the heck are you talking about? What is that? The Agogo Queen Mother is a special Agogo that gives birth to all the other Agogos. It's also said she possesses mysterious powers, so it's possible she'll be able to help Polka. It sounds promising. I think we should at least give it a try. Salsa, March, how do we find this Agogo Queen Mother? Do you guys know where she is? Of course, she's in Agogo Forest. Well, considering where we are now, that's rather far. You needn't worry about the distance. This warp room key has been passed down through generations of Baroque's royal family. Using it, you can instantly travel from the room beside the castle gates to any place you've previously visited. That'd be a huge help. Are you sure? What's the point of having the key if you don't use it when it's needed most? Now take it. Go and get help for that girl as fast as you can. Thanks a bunch, Captain! All right, we're going to a go-go forest! All right, we have to go to a go-go forest now. And this whole scene, like with Polka falling ill, is not in the original version. Yeah, seriously, and also I want to put uh, the recovery gloves on falsetto, if I can find them. Oh, um, Reto has them, so let's remove them and give them to falsetto. 
It's just we have to go to a go-go forest, and I just want to be prepared because Falsetto, even though she does a lot of damage, is a bit frail. Alright, so let's leave this castle. Gosh, the colors are so beautiful. And the warp room is right next to the castle, right here. So you want to go in. Yeah, let's use it. Oh, it's you. Please come over here. Uh, why? Can't you just talk to me from there? <laughs> Welcome. The prince told me that you'd be coming. This is a secret chamber belonging to the Baroque royal family known as the Warp Room. From here, people can transport across great dis distances in a single moment. The teleportation device has been acting strangely of late and is not functioning at full capacity. There's no need for alarm, however. It still has enough power to send you to your destination in a go-go forest. Um, okay. Um, pretty good. Let's go. A go-go forest village. Wow, that was amazing. We're really here. Come on. There's no time to waste. The Agogo Queen Mother should be somewhere in the forest. So there are a few new things that we can do here. Like for one, we can go to the clearing right by Wa Lava Cave. And if we talk to this person, I think. Oh yeah, we can um, play a score piece with them. So, we want to play score piece number two. Well, well, what do you think of my score piece? Those city folk have nothing on me. Alright. And there is another thing that we can do here, something that I forgot to do on the, uh, like, the last time we were here. So, we want to check this little thing right here. Wait, did I already get it? Well, it contains, like, one, one gold. Anyway, I'll meet you at, uh, the, the middle north section of the forest. Alright. Let's go. Get away, infernal creature! I have no use for an ordinary Agogo! What's with him? Oh, brother, not this guy again! What? You know him, Beat? Not exactly. He's some weirdo who says he's looking for glowing Agogos. He attacked us for no reason! Salsa, the Agogo that man is harassing, it's the Agogo Queen Mother! Some people never learn, do they? Well, fancy meeting you here. Out for another group picnic, are we? Hey, if I were you, I wouldn't be so arrogant. I got no problem sending a whip like you packing a second time around. You be wise to listen to my sister. We will show no mercy to someone who torments the Agogos. Me? Tormenting? Why, whatever do you mean? I was only taking a break from a hard day's work by playing with this dim-witted creature. That's all. Playing like this! Hey! You did not! That's the last straw, Three-Eyed Freak! What? Three-Eyed Freak? Young lady, I trust you aren't referring to me. You better believe I'm talking about you! Go on and whine as much as you want! Three eyes, you're still gonna get it! H how dare you insult me like that! Fine. I'm through playing games with the likes of you. I'll end your pitiful lives before you even feel any pain! You can thank me for my mercy. When you're in the realm of the dead! I'll leave your bodies to rot right here. Time to fight or die. Okay, this fight is a bit easier than the last one. 
I think Fugue may have the same, like, stats. Anyway, we have the Werewolf Choker equipped. And Falsetto did a lot of damage there. Okay, so let's attack with Jazz. Awesome! We knocked him down, good. Uh, wow. Uh, Club Clover, okay, let's use one. Good, we guarded. I can hear the accolades. Okay. Let's use Heal Arrow. Very nice, okay. Let's attack. Okay, let's keep attacking. Good job, Falsetto. Anything that gets in my way is going down. Attack! Good, we knocked him down. Uh, Angel Trumpet, okay. Let's heal. Good. And let's keep using Key Blade. Keep attacking and then use Key Blade. Good, we knocked him down. Whoa. Uh, let's use another Angel Trumpet. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. Um, wonder why. Okay, maybe I should put Falsetto over here. Maybe that will help. Yeah, I think it will. I have Jazz attack. He's very tanky. He can take huge hits. Whoa! I can hear the accolades. Anything that gets in my way is going down. All right. Are you catching on yet? Let's heal. I hope Jazz will be okay. Okay, um... Okay, let's... Good, we guarded. And we did it again. Gosh, maybe I should have I used a second healer, but... That's it. I got Death's Head, a new weapon for Falsetto. And I'll, I'll just buy some more Club Clovers and Angel Trumpets off screen. I'll let my fist do the talking. Awesome. Falsetto, level 30. Howling Thunder, that's very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> it seems I may have underestimated you. No matter. This has gone on long enough. Now. Oh no! Look at the Agogo Queen Mother! How dare you interrupt me when I am speaking, you insolent! Get out of my way! Get out of here, pest! <laughs> what the heck is going on? This isn't good! The Agogo Queen Mother is majorly upset! If she keeps going, we're all gonna get eaten up! What? Wait a minute, are you saying she just ate that guy? Agogos reflect what lies within a person's heart. The Queen is just reflecting the evil from inside that three-eyed freak. But right now, Salsa! Right, let's do it! Agogo 
Snow Queen Mother. Hear us and be calm. Whoa, it went back to normal. Ha! And that's just a taste of what us forest guardians can do. So, all we've got to do is take this Agogo back to Polka, right? Yes, I'm sure she'll lend us her power for a while. Come on, Polka. Wake up. to me you telling me you don't remember what happened you collapsed on the way in here it gave all of us quite a scare uh. anyway we're glad you're finally awake again you have allegretto to thank for saving you i appreciate your helping me allegretto no i didn't do anything i mean if you want to thank somebody salsa and march deserve it way more than i do don't you worry about us, Allegretto. I wouldn't dream of getting in the way of a budding romance. Polka, are you sure you're feeling completely recovered? Yes. I'm terribly sorry to have caused you all so much trouble. All right, then. Maybe we should go thank Crescendo for his help and tell him what's happened. 